Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to um, automatically import spreadsheets to create or update rows in an Airtable um, base and table in view. So let's say we're starting here with Airtable. I have this simple basically spreadsheet and I have some records here at the bottom. Um, these two records, you know, I want to update. I want to look them up by their by their email column here and then I would just want to update them if needed. And then any rows that you know, the email doesn't exist, I want to add them. And so let's say I have a CSV, or in this case, I have a Google Sheet, and these, these two rows need to be updated, so the name Jules2 should be updated. Jules3, Miss Rachel, shouldn't need to be updated, even though it's in here, it'll, it'll issue an update request. And then these four rows need to be added to Airtable. Okay, so what you can do is you're going to want to start with the CSV file to set yourself up. So I'm going to um, download this as a CSV. You know, if you have this file from FTP or something like that, download the latest file you want to import. So when you drag it here, you're going to see all the columns in the file. I am just going to uncheck the columns I don't care about from the file. I only, I'm only going to upload these two columns here for now. So if you uncheck these, Easy CSV won't pull them, but you can leave them if you want. Let's see here. Oh, I'll leave these. So now the destination of the data is Airtable. So we want to send the data to Airtable. You'll get an email about setup, and then you'll land on your import page. Uh, this is the page where you can drag files, but if you need to automate from, let's say, the files on FTP or uh, URL or something, you can click Scheduled Fetcher, and you can grab the file from a Google Sheet on a schedule. You can grab it from Google Drive or Dropbox or um, you know FTP, whatever you want. Uh, you also get a custom email address you can send files to as an attachment and it'll auto-upload into Airtable once you're set up. Cool, so first thing we have to do is we have to connect Airtable to Easy CSV. So you're gonna click this button here or you can go into the import flow and at the bottom, connect Airtable. So you're gonna click connect Airtable. You're gonna go out to Airtable and it's gonna say, hey, add a base. I'm gonna say I wanna add all current and future workspaces just so I never have to connect this again if I add tables or whatever. So I'm gonna grant access. Cool, so now it's connected. So now the last thing we have to do is choose the table and base. So if you click here, or you can go back to the import flow and you know enter your base ID and table name, we'll, we'll just click here. Easy CSV will pull all your bases. So in this case, it's called Max's Plain Table. Then uh, you know, you're gonna choose the table name. There's two, there's, uh, I think this is the table name of the base. Next my table. Okay, cool. So you can either always create new records, or you can say, I want to check if one exists. And so you're going to say, what field do you want to look up by in Airtable? And then what is the field in the CSV? So the lookup column in Airtable is this employee email right here with the emojis. And then the lookup from the CSV is this employee column, employee email column. So spreadsheet column, employee email field search by Premier Table employee. And you can say create a record or update. So if you just uncheck create, it'll never create new records, it'll only update ones. It'll drop all the ones it needs to create. But we're gonna create or update. Click save. And the last step we have to do is say, okay, now we have these fields in Airtable, right? You have all these columns in Airtable, name, email, all that. And then you have all these columns in the CSV and you need to map them together. So. The Airtable column name should be the name column from the spreadsheet, and the Airtable employee email should be the employee email column from the spreadsheet. And you can do this for all the columns of the spreadsheet and all the columns of um, Airtable. We also have these things called virtual output fields, where if you need to combine fields or massage fields from the, the spreadsheet, you'll see those listed at the bottom of this dropdown when you make them. So we're just going to import name and email. So click Save. And it's done. So now we can drag a file here. If we had a scheduled fetcher to go get files, it could be going get them on a schedule hourly, daily, whatever. So let's um, let's drag that file I downloaded from uh, Google Sheets. I'm gonna test. It's warning me that I'm only import three records instead of um, all of them because I'm on the free plan. The free plan of Easy CSV is for testing. If you sign up for a business or project plan and you can't get it working, you contact support, we can't help you, we just give easy refunds. So if you want to sign up and get a whole file in, go ahead. If you want to just test on our free plan, you'll just be able to import the first three records for testing. So import this. It'll take a moment to start processing. You'll get an email when it's done. It'll say how many records were created, how many were updated. 
If you go back to that import page, you'll see that this was updated. If you refresh, you'll have a log down here of how the import went. If we go back here, you'll see Jules, Jules was updated to Jules 3 and Mr. Rachel was added, which is the third record right here. And that's it. It's pretty easy. So you'll see here, here's the email address you get. You know, it's custom and you can just send attached files. Again, you can you can set up a scheduled fetcher on a schedule to go every four hours, 24 hours to go to maybe FTP or a cloud drive and grab files that you want or like new files that are added and have them um, appended to Airtable or updated. Um, if you need any help, please reach out to EasyCSV via chat or email.